everybody. Welcome back to the Hope you're all having a good Wednesday, or whatever day it is for you. We are back. So, new week, new stream. We are going to be continuing the cozy, the intriguing, uh, yes, your grace. It is a civilization management sim, except it's very heavily story-focused on the king as an individual and his relationship with the people around him and his family. Uh, so it's a very cool game, right up my avenue. Uh, enjoyed playing it last our last stream last week, uh, and we're gonna continue it today. I hope you all are having a good day and they hanging around. So let's get right into it. Might as well, right? <clears throat> How y'all doing today? All ten of you. It's gonna be funny that I. I'm going to forget all the controls, like always. Yes, Tub, set them on fire. Set them all on fire. Let's appreciate the Bard Corps for a little while. It's so nice. A little while, just a little while. And my goodness, if by the time we finish this game, we can play Snowfall, then I mean, we might marathon both games in a row. I don't know when Snowfall's coming out, of course, but it's always possible. All right, let us continue. We are about to start on week 11, and this is the week 10 summary. The army needs food and supplies to stay maintained and ready for battle. The bigger the army you have, the more supplies it will cost to maintain. Pay the army up. Keep simply click on the pay button. You will see the cost out of the summary below. If you don't pay the army upkeep costs, you will lose some soldiers. You have 40 gold, 54 food, 160. Okay, so the army upkeep at the moment is only four food, which is not really a problem. Training grounds get ten army per week. Oh my goodness. Stables. Seven additional locations. So we haven't undone we haven't finished the current location I don't think that's necessary prepare general general will be available during the battle we don't need to worry about that yet either so we're not gonna get any of these new things yet because they're very very expensive we're just gonna pay the army and pay the general and uh, continue. said, how are y'all ten of you doing? And then now there's only nine. Great. I do, I do appreciate you lurkers, even if you never speak. Fuck, my daughter's first. Father, you promised to practice sword fighting with me, remember? Maybe we could try it later today? Please? Of course, I'll see you in the gardens once I'm done here. Your Grace? I hate that Lorsulia has left already. She looked very pretty in her dress. She would look beautiful in any dress. I already miss her father. When when I have a wedding, can I wear the same dress? Of course you can, Sidani. Mother and Lorsulia sent a letter that uh, and that she's fine. Mother said Lorsulia sent a letter and that she's fine. Have you already replied to her? Have you asked about Dusty? I haven't asked her about Dusty yet. Can you please, please ask Lorsulia about the cat, father? Where does he sleep? What does he eat? Is he even alive? Yes, yes, Sedani, I will ask her about the cat. Ah, uh, thank you, father. I mean, your grace. Peasant. Your grace, men with monsters and their banners came ravaging our village. They set our barn on fire. It wasn't long before the flames spread other buildings. The village is still burning. Most of our supplies are already lost. Please send us some help. Uh, here are 
for supplies. I believe that should be enough to get you back up and running. Your grace, that is very kind. Your good deeds will spread far, I'm sure. Your grace, I ran into a small bandit camp. They were keeping a merchant captive. I have helped him out, and in return, he gave me this gold. Whoa! Eleven gold! Holy cow! Pietro. I am sorry for what I said last time, Your Grace. I cannot think straight sometimes. The thing is, someone is after me. But how can I find out who it is? I don't have a clue. If I can tell anyone, if I tell anyone I know, then they will know, and that is worse, right? I think we both had enough of this in prison. How can I, how can I help you that won't tell me exactly what's happening? How can I help you if you won't tell me exactly what's happening? Your Grace, you don't understand. Tell me what you did to make someone want to come after you. I I just... I saw a man and... No, that's not it. I don't know. I can't tell you, Your Grace. What if this person is listening? You will spend some time in our dungeons. I knew it! I knew it was you! Calm down, it's going to be alright. The guard will... The guard by the exit will take care of you. I'll come and see you later. Yes, we're doing this for his protection. A big animal tooth. Yeah, we need to... This time, King Eric decided it would be best to imprison him, as he might be a danger to him. Yep. You have called for me, Your Grace. I've heard that you have stopped supplying Bronca with some resources. Spices, I believe? I suspect you've been speaking to Etten. He trades my spices with Prasus to get fortune dabs. Um, some call it Dipu Dabu. But it's most commonly known by the name of Oracle Dust. I've heard about Rodovia. I can help if you aid me. Oracle Dust? It has medicinal uses, of course, but also recreational. Highly addictive. It's particularly popular amongst priests and the like. Something about spiritual enlightenment. It makes a lot of coin, but ultimately costs people's lives. I want no part in this. Shame I'm losing sales, though. Crassus? That's far away. I've heard enough. Your Grace, I urge you to help me help me curtail Etten's plans. Do not buy any Oracle dust. And if you hear anyone trying to sell dust, don't hesitate to put them in the dungeon. If anything suspicious happens, make sure I'm the first to know. If you do the right thing here, be sure that, that my army will stand by your side when the war begins. Two hundred soldiers. I can also help with six supplies. I heard Etten is selling dust near Kaski. The first step in the right direction would be to stop their deliveries. I will first talk. I will see about. I will see what Lord Etten has to say about this first. Just don't let that buffoon get under your skin, Your Grace. I have this animal tooth. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? It looks like a healthy animal, no holes or chips. I'm not sure what animal it could have come from. I'm not much of an expert on beasts. All right. That's all for now. As you wish, Your Grace. You should invite Lord Etten, Your Grace. Make sure what Lurz is saying is true before we decline Etten's alliance. You can find Etten on the Allies panel. You should be here next week if we send a pigeon immediately. Uh, 
gives gold and slightly more soldiers lures gives gives food, however. Okay, 101 pigeons sent out. No! Oh god, I accidentally I did not mean to hit that button. I'm so glad that it told me to not. Yes, Father? How is your practice? Are you ready? Hey, that was good. Ha! I know. Ugh! Too slow. Ha ha. You heard about Saidani. What happened? I told her that she should find a pet that can actually do something besides being disgusting. She's been leaving bait in the garden since then. Nothing has been showing up, so I took one of the stuffed skunks from the hall and put it behind the bush. The evening, I told her I told her something took the, her bait. When she saw a huge skunk half her size, she panicked. <laughs> she grabbed my sword. She could barely lift it. It was hilarious. She kept hitting the poor skunk, but it wouldn't budge. Haha. <laughs> poor Sidani. She wouldn't hurt an animal. Mother heard her scream. Came and ruined everything. Sadani actually cried when she found out this thing was stuffed. Oh, Asalia. Come on, Father, you have to admit this is funny. Only a little bit. I can't believe she would attack a skunk. Ha <laughs> ha. She thinks she can fight because she keeps seeing you running around with your sword. I know, she keeps pestering me to fight her. You should end it here. I better check on Sidani. Your Grace? You want to talk about the skunk? Salia told me what happened. Well, I just got scared and I didn't know what else to do. It was dark out there and the eyes were shining. I was worried you'd be mad at me for bringing monsters to the castle. So I just took Asalia's sword. I am sorry I ruined your stuffed animal, father. I hope you forgive me. Of course I forgive you. It was an old stuffed skunk. I was going to get rid of it anyway. You were very brave, but I don't want you running around with that sword again, alright? Fine, I won't. See you later, pumpkin. Now let's go talk to my wife. Oh, no, it's the dungeon. I'm stupid. How are you doing in there? Oh, your grace. It feels safer in here. I don't have to worry about anyone coming after me. I have my friend here, and no one can come inside. I wish I'd just asked you to imprison me straight away, your grace. I'm glad you feel safer. You were right. No one is going to come here looking for you. Are you my life, your grace? Let me give you my army. I won't need them. I'll just stay here. You have an army? Yes, I know. But I couldn't tell them what's been going on. Could have been one of them. Yes, of course. You can stay here as long as you like, Pietro. Let the guard know if you need anything. Thank you, Your Grace. Four? Okay. He had an army of four soldiers, but... Do you, do you need have anything, everything you need? Yes, um, sturdy walls, steel bars, a personal guard. Oh wait, there's nowhere to run! I don't think a king would come to the dungeons and honor truly. Okay, I think, uh... Hello, Thurman! This is Yes, Your Grace. It's a civilization manager that also focuses on uh, the story of the king. Uh, the only evidence we have of the murder right now is the tooth, and we, the person we talked to doesn't know anything about it, so we're just going to... Oh, oh, right, right, right. I'm stupid. You do uh, send... Right, there we go. There we go. 
Oh boy, okay, all right. We have a lot of fucking gold right now. So you know what? Training grounds. Let's let's grow this army. I'm going to be pissed if there's something really expensive I need to buy this week. Oh my god, what is my daughter holding? This is a new pet you're hiding there, Pumpkin. Your grace might introduce you to... The Stabber! Oh no! The Hedgehog! Why the Stabber? Well, I wanted to name him Hanson, but that name was taken already. The other option was to call him Squisher, but it didn't seem like that would scare off enemies. Squishers! They're tons of fun. Underneath, he has a velvet yummy tummy. You wish you could just stroke and squish all day. Ah. But on top, on top, it's a whole different story. On top, he's a scary stiff stabber. What is this all about? Well, Father, do you know the tale of Hanson? Hanson was a hedgehog who rode on the on a black rooster, Your Grace. He was ugly and unwanted, but one day he helped a king find his way home. As a prize, the hedgehog asked the king to promise to give him whatever greets him first upon his return home. It turned out that the king's daughter was the first to greet him. One year later, the hedgehog came to claim his reward and married the princess. It was difficult for the princess to love the ugly creature Hanson was, but once she learned to accept him and once she proved her true love for him, Hanson turned into the most handsome prince with the biggest castle made out of diamonds. Ha! Huh. This story sounds familiar. I wish life was as simple as a fairy tale. Yes, Lady Danica always tells this uh, tale before bed, Father. It's a well-known story. A lot of books have different versions of it. The most popular was some thing about an old man with white hair killing monsters. It's very silly, but Danica likes this one a lot. See, I will turn the stabber into a prince. A prince? Oh, it's not for me, father. Once the stabber is a prince, he can help me get Luli back. I'm sure she can like it more than Ivo. And then she and Dusty can come back to the castle. Fine, keep the stabber. Keep him close to you, but don't lose him. And don't stab yourself. It's not the stabber, it's the stabber! <laughs> the stabber is on a mission, and he is about to stab someone! At least she will be occupied? I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Your Grace, how's our investigation going? I have found this animal tooth, but I don't know how it ended up in our castle. I prepared a table for you in the council chambers, where you can expect items. We should invite and question the Lord. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to learn something from them. Remember that they might not always tell you the truth, Your Grace. And while we're inviting them, we should try to form alliances too. Of course. General. Your Grace, a nearby river has dried up. The residents have been carrying water to their homes from a lake for, for days. I helped them with my horse, and so now they have extra water saved for a few days. I made sure they knew it was thanks to the king. Cool. Very cool. Uh, okay. How may I be of service, Your Grace? Well, first of all, I'm going to ask about the animal, too. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? What is an animal tooth doing in your wine cellar? Looks like someone has lost it. I'm trying to find its owner. I don't know, Eric. Probably someone who's interested in animals or creatures, shall I say. I know why you need the spices. I have heard about what you need those spices for. Your Grace, I can explain. Oracle dust is far from dangerous. As far as I've been told, it has medical use more than anything else. It's just an easy way to make some gold. It is about if you sell dust or not, it's going to get out to people anyway. If we're the ones selling it, then at least we are the ones profiting. You can pass it on. Don't trouble yourself with the people who use it. 
In fact, I could really use your help in this operation. And in return, I will always be at your service. I have a location near Beltois that has some problems with the locals. Send an agent its way and maybe he could give us a hand. Also, if anything out of the ordinary happens, then make sure I'm the first to know. We need to keep an eye on other sellers. If anyone comes selling, make sure to buy a pack or two. I will be able to double your earnings. If you do right by me, I will be sure to do right by you. I will give you my men, and go men golds, and supplies. Can't prom- I'm not promising anything. At least you're not saying no. Look, I will throw in something extra for your efforts. Along 230 men, I will throw in my hound. They're deadly and precise. The Rodovians won't know what hit them. Oh, and, uh, I think I just remembered something about the night Talus died. I'd have a fair- I had- I'd, I'd had a fair bit to drink at this stage, so everything was kind of blurry. But I did see someone in the gardens that night when I was watering the flowers. If you haven't already, you might want to poke around in there. So, you're welcome, Your Grace. Something suspicious. If something suspicious happens, make sure to let me know first. You may take your leave. Your Grace. Ends offer is very generous, Your Grace. You could certainly use his hounds and army in the battle. But as prom but as promising as trading dust sounds, it could cause problems later. If we decide to help Etten, we can be sure that Lurs will cancel his cancel his offer of an army. Shouldn't allow dust sails in Davern. Gods know what havoc this substance will cause in the future. Better not risk it. I don't want people coming to me crying that they've lost family members to this poison. Of course, Your Grace. In that case, we should aid Lurs in stopping this nasty business. Send a general to Kaski as soon as possible to shut down that trading site he was talking about. And if we ever come across anyone wanting to sell dust, we should imprison them for a while just to discourage further sales. Lurs will be happy to hear this, so after we've done what he asked asked for, we should invite him over. Your Grace, my village has been raided by bandits! These scum are fiercer than any others. There have been casualties. They have killed an, an entire family. We are counting on help from your general, Your Grace. We should keep an eye on these bandits. Make sure Rodovians are not creating further posts. If they are locals, we should show them that there is no such behavior. There is no place for such behavior. This time I'm going to send the general. You shall get the help you need. My general will find the bandits and bring them to justice. I knew you I knew we would get revenge. Thank you, Your Grace. Alright. Actually, wait, let's um So uh let's uh ask more people to come and talk to us. So we want to find somebody who might like beasts. Um, this guy has a feather in his hat, so he could be Robin Hood or a ranger, but maybe not. I'm gonna invite this guy. I don't know who he is, but I'm going to invite this guy. Kill everyone now! Eat shit! Hello, my queen. Darling. Lord Etten visited me. Turns out he is trading oracle dust and wants my help with it. Lord Lurs doesn't approve of the business. He thinks it's bad for people, but both lords have promised to lend their armies if we help them. But really, I don't know what to think about it. Well, do you really think that selling dust is bad for people? If more people start using it with no regulation, we could have problems. We don't have enough resources or doctors to deal with things going wrong. But then again, it might also be bad. It also might be that nothing bad happens. What do you think? I mean, I hear God's servants use it, so I'm sure it's fine. After the war with Rodovia, if things start going wrong, we can always stop supporting Etten. Thank you, sweetheart. I guess it's worth thinking about. It's fine, dear. Let me know if you need to discuss anything else. I have found some clues that might lead to the person who's behind Talos' death. What have you found? Oh. Wait, no. I, maybe I have to click on the tooth. Oh, come on! I can't click on the tooth. 
I will see you later. Fine. Let's go to the gardens. So something... Well, Lord Etten mentioned there was something in the gardens. Yes, father? So Etten said that there was something he, in the garden. You should check in the garden. This paving stone looks like it was moved. If I can get something sharp and thin to lift it, hmm, a sword would be too thick and it needs to be something smaller. I need to go find a tool that is something sharp and thin. Sword would be too big. Seek expert. Question suspect. gonna do yeah your grace Boy. mind if I pet him pet? not at all your grace just don't st ouch stab yourself Boy, yeah. maybe you know let's go back maybe there's something in our bed chamber that would have that would be night thin and sharp Needles! These could be useful. Aha! I got it! A piece of paper. Oh, it appears to be some sort of letter. It has a map of the castle. It reads, Find wine in the cellar. Mix it with seven drops of the substance in a glass. Be seen by no one. It looks like an instruction letter to whoever poured poison in Talos' wine. It's beautifully decorated with some flowers. We don't usually decorate our letters. It would be too costly. Maybe we can trace those drawings to the person who has written this. Intriguing. Actually, hold on. Hidden letter in the gardens. It contains a map of the castle and the instructions for using the poison. Well, that's cool. So we have we have a, a hint now. Bed chamber. Oh wait, we're gonna tell the we're gonna tell the queen about it. A letter. I have found this letter in the gardens. It contains instructions about pouring poison in a wine glass and a map of our castle. The letters seem to be decorated with flowers, living like in the olden days. How can we trace this letter to whoever wrote it? This is a very important piece of evidence, Eric. As a general, ask a general if he knows anyone who decorates their letters in such a manner. If he is available, he'll probably be at the wall. That's all I've found. I just sent our general away, so that's that's bad timing, but I also have a, a guy that's gonna come by and talk to us. Oh, I don't have to pay him because he's away for two weeks. Okay, alright. We also have a lot of food. This is not a good idea, but I'm just living on the edge, I guess. Revno, week 13. There's a lot of people here. Yovan, I believe I invited him here. Lord Yovan, your grace. My condolences about Talus's death. I've heard about Rodovia. 
I will help you with it. 120 men will be at your command. I will also give you five gold. But only if Sir F uh, Frederick joins your ranks. I wouldn't want to upset him. Sir Frederick? Who's Sir Frederick? Battle for Brianna? You must have heard. He led the, the defense force, repelled an army five times bigger. My superior officer. I served under his banner. Although it's been many years, we keep in contact. We train together. In recent years, haven't been easy for him, I must say. Thank you, Jovan. I'll send a pigeon right away. Not to worry, Your Grace. I'm sure Sir Frederick will help. It's just a formality. I have found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? You have an extensive library, Your Grace. Don't you have a bestiary you could look at? I don't think we keep any bestiaries in our library. I don't either. I think someone who has, has personally dealt with animals, a lot of animals, would know more about this too. This letter is written on an intricately decorated parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? Some lords use fancy paper to show off their wealth, but I don't know anyone who does that. Okay, so we need to talk to lords that have a lot of wealth and army. We need to contact a lord that has a really, really big... Well, that has big wealth and army. That'll be all for now. As you please, Your Grace. Well, hold on. Salia. As... What are you doing here with this brush? Mother made me sweep all the corridors. Why? What did you do this time? Nothing. As, tell me what you did. Nothing, I swear! Your mother will tell you, will tell me what you did if you won't. I had better start sweeping before she finds me. Ugh. I will never finish here. What the fuck? I have two peasants here. My name is Olivia, your grace. I come from the forest. I am the leader of the cult of the trees in the western woods. I know I am probably not welcome here. But you are my last hope, Your Grace. I have asked all the neighboring villages for help, but they despise my god. In the middle of the forest, we have a sacred oak. And because of all the recent rains, the area around it has flooded. A stream of water keeps running all over its roots. We have tried stopping the water, but we don't have the appropriate tools. Our people need this tree to pray to, Your Grace. Without it, they are depressed and scared. I can't bear to see them so helpless. Please help us, Your Grace. A worshipping oak? Are you praying to a tree? Yes, your grace. It's the tree of the god of thunder. A symbol of love and life filled with healing powers. Nothing bad can happen to this tree, your grace. Please, I beg you. Your grace? You should find someone in the market that you can hire. Oh, your grace, thank you so much. I've got to say, I wasn't expecting you to help us. I will be. I will make sure our people know about your good heart. I hope your tree is going to be all right. Your Grace, a traveling merchant, a traveling merchant here. I'm selling rather exclusive wares. If you're interested, silks, perfumes, books, and decorations, whatever your royal soul might desire. Something, something tells me you might be interested in far more delicate merchandise, though. I have a knack for these things, am I right? I'm listening. Oh, how fa- how fandustic. You see, I have something very precious here. Satisfaction for the most disillusioned pleasure seekers. Some say it's a perfect cure for when you don't feel particularly inspired. Others may use it purely for recreation. It's all very generally good if you're going through a bad spell, your grace. I have one pack of dust for just seven pieces of gold. If you're tempted to grab another sack, I might try to throw it in for only five gold. That would be two old packs for only twelve gold. Now, if that's the, not a deal worthy of your royal bottom, then I don't know what is. Your place is in my dungeons. I won't allow Oracle Dust in Davern. Your Grace? But there's nothing wrong with selling a few packs of sugar dust. What other pleasures were you thinking about? Oracle Dust? I've never heard of it. How dare you lie to your king? My guards will take care of you care of you at the exit. Mm. 
An Oracle Dust merchant visited the throne room. King Eric imprisoned the man. Yeah. <gasps> Fuck you. Something... Some, sometimes it sounds like they're saying Hibana. Puffball. Puffball. Okay. Uh, my general is still away, so there's no point in doing anything with the maps. So... Not gonna send a pigeon yet. Talk to our wife again, darling. What did Asalia do? You made her sweep all the corridors in the castle. This must have been serious. Oh, Eric, she is behaving worse and worse as she grows up. She's convinced one of our servants. She convinced one of our servants to practice sword fighting with her. Oh gods! It didn't end well. The servant ended up with a huge cut on his cheek. You shouldn't have let her play with swords, Eric. I know I shouldn't have, but I feel that if I said no, she'd still do it in secret. I know, Eric. We need to pay more attention to her, especially now Luli is not here. Fine, I will stay here. Your Grace! I can't bear this place. Please let me out. I didn't know Your Grace disapproves of the dust. I thought it was like any other consumable product. People get sick because of this stuff. Everyone who sells dust in Davern will be imprisoned. You will stay here till Lord Lurz arrives. Sell cocaine! So I guess I could send for Lord Lurz. The problem is that I haven't stopped the, uh, the, du the, the dust outpost. Uh, on the map yet. I need to wait one more week before I do that. What the cat doing? Dear Father, my husband King Ivan was very good to me. Has done everything to make me feel at home. I spend most of my days reading books and learning about Atana. King Ivan wishes me to grow familiar with their traditions. We start each day with a prayer, followed by a rich, lavish breakfast. Later, I learn more about the history of Atana and its geography. Last week, I met Pal... Paloma, the king's mother. She's poorly, but King Ivo says he will continue his father's quest to find a cure for her illness. Yours, Lorsulia. Ivo certainly wants his wife to understand their ways. I'm not sure I like it. We should ask Lorsulia about something else. Ask her about the cat. Tell her Sedani keeps pestering me. Very well, Your Grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple weeks. It do be like this. I watched The Circle last night when I couldn't sleep, and we're totally going to watch it. Ooh, very good, very good. Exciting! Goofy, goofy as hell movie. Goofy, ah! Movie. Okay, so. We're not going to send... Okay, so Sir Frederick. Yovan wants me to recruit Sir Frederick. We will invite Sir Frederick. It do really be a circle. All right, all right. Very good, very good. 45 gold. Man, we're making gold pretty, pretty decisively. I like it. And our general is back. Stables. Unlock seven additional locations to explore on the map. I don't need that yet. I have already have places to explore that I haven't finished yet, so... I don't need to prepare the general yet. I want to stock hold a bit of a... Stock up on my supplies for now. Grevno, week 14. Craft will flourish. No man can stop. In the middle of the night, we shall meet. The dust spreads fastest in the sandstorm. What? Make any sense out of it, Audrey? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Just as we pass this on to either Lurz or Etten, or call your grace. Oh boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Your grace, I found the bandits. They were quite the bunch drinking away in the forests nearby. I let the villagers deal with them. I'm ready for our next orders. Thank you. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. Sir Frederick! At your service, your grace. I'm looking for allies. Lord Yovan mentioned you could help. Ah, yes, I have heard your troubles, your grace. Rodotovians lack proper training, but gods know what they have at their disposal. My 80 men, 4 gold, and 2 supplies will be a great boon. As a noble knight, it is my duty to help those in need. However, I can't allow liars to taint a knight's honor. The battles for Brianna, Keldu. Under my command, the army of the two-headed bird was defeated. I have lost three fingers in my time. I have endured many broken bones. But Noski? Not a single scar! Even the finest swordsman bears scars? Many have fought and died. That Noxi? Th that Noxi? Show me a single person who can confirm his accomplishments. Someone who actually saw him in a fight. For all we know, it's just pet. It's just prettily little. It's just pret oh prettily worded lies. I need to say more racial slurs in my video so I have an ex <laughs> sound effect as a slur. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Do it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh fuck. Noxie is a deceiving liar, and I ask you help me prove it. Noxie? Noxie? This fellow got well under your skin. Who is he? Noxie the Dragon Slayer, he calls himself. He thinks he's a knight, but he's far from it. He usually travels around quite a bit, but I hear people have seen him around Davern recently. If you meet him, he'll surely tell you the same story he tells everyone. There was something about a griffin and a tree. He set the trees on the tree on fire. The big griffin comes to save her cubs, but catches her wings on fire, drops down, and finishes her off? It doesn't matter. It's always the same story, different details. The video, it sounds like I'm saying, why don't you just call me a... Like, or whatever, the Pikmin noises. What is that you need help with, did you say? Tell him there's a lichage in the nearby forest. The creature's just a story, and of course it's... The creature is just a story, and of course it's not there. See what he says, though. If he brings you proof, then we can catch him red-handed. Help me show everyone what he's really made of, and I will stand by your side in one more battle. That'll be all for now. As you please, your grace. I wanted to ask about the tooth, though. Oh, whatever. Oh, the noise is a little Pikmin saying Pikmin. <laughs> your grace, I come from the tavern. The business was going so well, but lately I've had some troubles, and it's all getting out of hand. The tavern became a great place for everyone to gather and have a good time, but some local panders saw an opportunity to use this place to find customers. At first it was fine, just some girls lurking around every now and then. Now the tavern has turned into a brothel! Right, right, right. People are only visiting for the girls. Although my sales have gone through the roof, I've got to say. It attracts customers, but the panders essentially took over my tavern. They cause all sorts of trouble, as you can imagine, Your Grace. Almost every week I have to deal with these disrespectful, violent, violent men. I'm scared they will soon take over the tavern completely and leave me with nothing. On the other hand, if I kick them out, they will just relocate to another pub. I'll lose all my customers and have to close down. I don't know, do we approve of whores in a medieval time? Because more money for him means more money for me, I assume. If he goes out of business, I might lose that income bracket. Destroy them? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking to kick the whores out, yeah. You should protect your tavern before they take over. I imagine this will only get worse. You'll rebuild your business in no time, I'm sure. Good call, Your Grace, but how can I? I'm only a weak man. They have bodyguards who can take me out with one punch. Perhaps if you could send a general for a few weeks to help out? 
Uh... My God. I don't want to do that, but... I'll send a general. He will make sure they don't bother you anymore. Thank you, Your Grace. Your Grace, you shouldn't expect your sh you shouldn't expect your share of the income for some time, though. I'm expecting the income to drop significantly. Oh well. Your Grace, I come to you with a special request. Turn Stabber into a pr prince. I need to lift his curse. I've researched more into it. I think you're the youngest one who can read," said. "You're you're the youngest one of us who can read," said Ani. Well, I made Danica read it for me. I already love him as hard as I can. I squish and tickle his tummy all the time. But now I need to make him rich. Your Grace, can I please request one piece of gold? I'll pay it back, I promise. A piece of gold to make a hedgehog rich? Of course. Here, one piece of gold. Don't lose it. Thank you, your, thank you, Father. Your efforts will not be forgotten. I also need to find a black rooster with a saddle. Do you know where I could find one? Oh, my pumpkin. I honestly don't know. That's fine, my king. I shall find one, find one myself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna invite uh, Noxy. Died as he lived. I have nobody to talk to. Holy shit, that's kind of crazy. Son of a bitch. Two weeks. I'm going to keep stockpiling because I don't need stables or to prepare him yet. No, I, I have plenty of time. I think. I think. Hedgehog needs a theme song. Rolling, stabbing around at the speed of sound. Dear Eric, I hear that I'm already too late to marry... Oh, hold... Dear Eric, I hear I'm already too late to marry your daughter. We had some struggles, but we will ready, be ready within 14 weeks. I believe we can explore other options, and I hope that you will keep your promise. Bayron, the king of Redovia. What? They know. They will come to get another daughter. Fourteen weeks? That's too soon. We need to gather an army. We need to make alliances and hope Ivo will help us. Fourteen. No, don't tell me that made the day. That ruined the day. You're awake. You gave us all a big fright indeed. Rodovia is coming. 14 weeks. We need to make allies prepare for battle. Calm down. You're fretting worse than me. Everything is going to be fine. We have plenty of time to prepare. The doctors say you're worrying too much. If you were younger, it wouldn't be too much of a concern. But at your age, you are more prone to the effects. You need to take care of yourself. How can I do that? We have to prepare for the battle. We have no army. I mean, 200 is, you know... An army of, of, of sorts. Let's spread a rumor that those people eat cereal with water. Then all of the kingdoms will help us destroy them. Yes, that we must. But you need to keep calm. Everything will be fine. Go on now. You still have work left to do. You're right. I think things get on. I, th I better get on with things. Cancel the day? I hope it didn't. Your Grace, I hope you are fine. I'm feeling a little better, yes. Did anything happen while I was gone? Nope, everything's the same. About the letter. We need to focus on gathering as many allies as possible in the next weeks. Fight lords and see how we can make alliances with them. While we are doing that, we should also focus on these evidence items for the royal trial. Question lords and see if any of these things lead us to the killer. I don't mean to cause you stress, but we've only 
I only have 14 weeks. Of course, Audrey. Oh, yeah. I agree, we, should, we shouldn't get distracted with petty matters. Let's get to it. Your Grace, it is I, Noxie, the Dragon Slayer, bowing low before you, also known as Grofos the Great, Wanos the Wise, Pieter the Powerful. The royal wedding was fantastic, well, until, you know. The food was first class, but amongst all the pleasures, I didn't have a chance to introduce myself. Who are you? I didn't quite catch that. Who are you again? But have you never heard of me? It is I, Noxie the Dragon Slayer. I killed the dragon in the eastern forests. Would you like to hear about my fierce battle with the foul worm, your grace? I'm all ears. The beast was fast. Its sharp claws could tear human skin with absurd ease. I stole into its home forest with great care and planned its path to, to and planned a path to its defeat. The dragon's nest was at the very top of a mighty oak tree overlooking a rushing river. Clever as I am, I noticed that the nest, the nest was full of hatchlings. Fucky little dragon puppies. I chopped down the tree while the big one wasn't there. The great oak creaked, creaked, groaned, and fell straight into the furious river underneath, taking the dragon's young with it. The squeak of the little dragons carried far, and so the, ba the big beast herself appeared. Desperately trying to save her babies from the brutal current, she kept crashing into one boulder after, an after the other. At last, she dragged her battered body onto the shore, but the weakened creature was no match for my mighty arm, and the beast was no more. After all, wit and brains come before strength and fists. Remember that, kids. I mean, your grace. Impressive, isn't it? After that, the other adventurers, of course. After that, and other adventures, of course, I traveled to Davern, seeking further challenges. So I have come straight to the king. Now tell me, your grace. What have you evil creatures await me? Await me here, staining your beautiful land. Peasants mentioned the occasional basilisk or some other monster. All these nightmares are nothing to our real problem, Radovia. Radovia? Well, I've never heard of such a creature. So what is it? What does it do? Emit gas? Crush men's bones under its heavy hooves? Breathe fire? An army from behind the tall mountains. They aim to claim Davern as their own. A an army? I see. Well, that's one hell of a challenge. I can help, though. They call me Gophos the Great for a reason. Over the years of my adventure, adventurous career, I have met a lot of people. Even more owe me their lives. I will give you all I can. Soldiers, supplies, I will stand at your side in the battle. I reckon I can gather 180 men. And five supplies, I'm sure, will come in handy. And in return, I ask for... Oh, absolutely nothing at all! I'm a noble ups... Upstanding knight, I live to serve, help, and, well, be famous. Noxie, aiding the king of Davern in a real battle, they will write fine songs about this. Wait a, wait a minute, so he just immediately gave me his army? But I wanted to prove that he was a fraud. What the fuck? It looks like an animal tooth... It looks like... Okay. Here's the problem. If he is a fraud, these soldiers might be not real. It looks like an animal tooth. Would you know anything about it? That's an impressive tooth. It must have been one hell of a beast. Do you know where such a tooth could have come from? Oh, I wish I could tell you a heroic story about defeating such an imposing beast, Your Grace. Sadly, I can't because this tooth is not one from my collection. I don't think so, anyway. I wish it was, though. Can I buy it off you? Absolutely not, Noxy. We need this tooth to prove my innocence to King Ivo. Maybe after the royal trial. This letter is on very finely decorated parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? I wouldn't know. I don't receive many letters, Your Grace. I'm always traveling, so letters never reach me. We have a problem with a monster. Ah, so you knew of your own monster, Your Grace. The Shaj is the name. Hmm. A small creature. Imagine a pig, but hairy, with long claw with long claws and horns. It can be dangerous for for me. It will be a piece of cake. You can expect me to return shortly. That'll be all for now. As you please, Your Grace. My general is still not here. 
The tooth came from me, John Tooth. <laughs> so I assume if I prove this guy is a fake, he's gonna withdraw his army? Or maybe I just kind of stole his army from him, or some shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Your Grace, I have come to tell you the water from the oak has cleared. Our people hadn't prayed or confessed in weeks. Oh, they are so happy now. I brought you something small as a gift. It's a banquet made from the oak's fallen leaves. I saved them from last year. It will bring love and luck to your throne room. Well, thank you, I think. I hope it really does. I'll just leave it by the window. This oak bouquet is supposed to bring me luck. Yo, Chris! May I have your audience, priest? I want to do some fishing. Like I always do, your grace. <gasps> but as foolish as I am, I, um, fell asleep, yes. Stupid, stupid, Stefan! I always have to mesh everything up. Anyway, someone took my fishing rod. And now, I have nothing. Tish, the only thing I had left after my wife died. Oh, my sweet Anna. You saw what a mesh I am? She'd put me right in my place. It's all my fault, your grace. <laughs> my family wanted me and her and the kids to have a good time. So I took everybody out on my boat. And then the storm came, and and it just, just flipped the boat upside down. I swear I didn't know, your grace. When I woke up on the shore, they were all gone. So I wait every day, and I fish to pass time. But now I don't even have my rod. Please, your grace, spare the old man. If I could ask for a piece of gold, I swear I will buy a fishing rod and nothing else. What if uh, giving money to the beggar pays off, though? You know what? I'm gonna take the ri I'm gonna I'm gonna do the nice guy uh, risk factor. Take this gold and sort your life out. Oh my sweet mother of gods! I have never seen this much gold. Thank you. You're my savior. I can finally buy some bread. You're welcome, Stefan. Take care of yourself. Your grace, I bring you a special thing of magical splendor. It is only worthy of a royal. No one else deserves this magnificent being. Your grace, I present to you my magical cock. Don't let your eyes fool you. This ain't a regular cock, your grace. This cock has been enchanted. It can tell a lie from the truth, your grace. And when it senses a lie, it will voice its disapproval. I believe it would be a real asset to your throne room. It will help you lead better than any advisor. See? I'm no liar. The cock stayed quiet. How can I be sure this thing works? Try yourself, your grace. Tell a lie or truth. I had a very delicious porridge for breakfast. See? I wasn't lying, your grace. How much do you want for this thing? Only 18 gold, your grace. It's a very good price price for a lie detector. Stairs in this house were done shoddy. They've worn a bit, and I pricked my toe in a nail. Oh! Oh! I'm protruding on one of the steps. Oh! Ooh, make sure you sterilize that really, really, really good. Because uh, that's, that, that's a tetanus rip. I don't know if this thing will work, but my daughter would be ha would be quite happy with it. Fine, your grace. Just make sure she doesn't lose it. Let me just set it up all. Set it all up. All set. Take care, your grace. Saidani's gonna love this. I should go and find her later. Buy a rooster for Saidani. Oh, right! This is for her 
que her quest with the prince. Oh, shit. My general isn't back yet, either. Yeah, that fucking... I hate that shit. Your grace? Come and see me in the throne room. I have something to show you. You're going to love it. Just let me finish feeding Stabber. I'll come later. Find the pumpkin. I'll wait for you in the throne room. Noxie is out on this quest. Sometimes lords are busy and you won't be able to invite them to your throne room. This will be shown with the red arrow next to the lord the lord profile. Oh, okay. So th they're both... I see, I see, I see. So the lord with the most army and money, other than Ivo, is Lena. We're going to invite her because she might know the most about this letter. So is my daughter going to come here or, 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 or not? You gonna, you gonna hurry up? I hit, I hit resolve. I am liking the amount of money and food we have. We're, we're keeping above 20 most of the time. I'm gonna keep stockpiling. We have like, we have only. We have, like, almost 400 soldiers? That's cool. Grevno, week 16. General! Your grace, I've helped the tavern owner get rid of the pander panders. I don't know that what was cooking up there, but it was a right mess when we arrived. I'm glad you managed to put an end to it. I know we have some very pressing issues now, but considering last week's incident, perhaps we should think about securing an heir, your grace. Years are passing by, and none of us are getting any younger. If you don't have a rightful heir, Ivo will be next in line. He's not a bad person, but it's likely Davern would just become a part of Atana. Rest assured, Aurelia and I are working on an heir. At this age, it's not so easy anymore! Of course, three daughters is already plenty, your grace. Let me worry about this once we have dealt with Ratovi. <laughs> you know, I thought the whole time when he said, oh, she likes spending time in the bedroom more. I, like, I pictured an innuendo in my, that I was an innuendo in my head. And then it literally was the game. The game confirmed it is. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely older. And uh, they... They uh, don't have any boys, so good grief. Send some soldiers to be sneaky, Pikmin, and poison the enemy soldier's food supply. Let me worry about this once we have dealt with Rodovia. Talk to my general. Grace, have a look at this letter. I found this in the gardens. It has a unique decoration. Do you recognize it? No, Your Grace. I've never seen an e such elegant writing, neither. I could ask around to see if anyone in the village knows anything. Do you want me to? Not now. We can wait with this. Maybe another time. Just, just let me know when, Your Grace.
Wait. Isn't there a place I descend? Visit Kasky and close the Oracle Dust trading stand. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Lady Lena. Pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. Although my biggest condolence is about Talus, although I didn't like him at all. Anyways, Lurz has explained your situation to me. I believe I can help for something in return, of course. You see, I have something I want to give to my son. Someone, actually. I would like to, your daughter, Asalia, to marry him. I believe this would greatly strengthen our relationship for years to come, and, and as a start, I would lend you my army. 300 fully equipped and trained soldiers, all ready to stand against Rodovia. And along with four with men, four gold and five supplies. So, what do you say? Let me think about it. I will need some time to think this through. Oh, of course, darling. Now take as much time as you like. Just remember that Rodovia won't be waiting for you to get ready. <laughs> no! Let me talk to- I wanted to ask her about the fucking letter. And then she just walked away. Ah! Talk to Asalia now. Father, I was wondering if we could practice sword fighting again. Later in the gardens? Very well. Go on, you can warm up. You can warm up without me. I will catch up with you in just a bit. Great, I will see you in the gardens. Off she goes, I better check up on her. A rooster? He's black! Oh gosh! You are the bestest father in the world! Is my daughter lying to me about something? Does she have a different plot that I'm unaware of? Oh boy, you are so beautiful! The Stabber's going to adore you! Thank you, Your Grace. Take good care of him, Pumpkin. I love you, Father. Oh, but then he didn't caca right there. Oh, bless her. Holy shite. Your Grace, our village was on fire last week and you helped us. We have found assistance just in time. The chapel started to catch fire, but we managed to save it. I just wanted to bring you the greatest of blessing the greatest of blessings to you, Your Grace. We are forever in your debt. I'm happy to hear this. Hope the rest of the village is restored soon. We're working on it, Your Grace. Thank you again. Your Grace, the general helped my to throw the panders out of my tavern. I must say he was very handy. The men the ladies have moved to another inn down the village. I have lost most of my customers, so it's going to be a while before I start making any profits again. That's fine. I wish you good luck in rebuilding your business. And please don't allow this to happen again. Of course, Your Grace. You know, basilisks are terrified by roosters. Oh, what? W what? Yes, Father? Who's this? I see you've already found someone to practice with. Well, I'm not going to wait for you all day, am I? I haven't seen you before. Who are you? This is Maya. Remember? I sneaked out to the wedding party? The one you were not supposed to go to? Well, yes. Anyway, that's when I met Maya. We had fun at the wedding. I thought it would be nice if she came to visit. Your Grace? See, I can never get her. You're good with the sword. Who taught you to fight like this, Maya? My father is a swordsman. He showed me a few tricks. And he lets you play with swords? 
Maya says you need to be ready when the enemy strikes. And you never know when they will strike. Ha ha. That's what my father says. Your accent. I can't quite place your accent. You're not from around here, are you? Um, my parents are from Baravia. We're passing by and stopped in the capital for a couple of weeks. That's awfully far from here. Where are your parents now? They have business in the market. They let me venture around. Yes, they're traveling merchants. Sort of. Bio was showing me some fancy sword tricks during on their journey. Giant Snake is scared of a fucking testosterone chicken. <laughs> Maya was showing me some fancy sword tricks she learned on their journeys. Interesting, a tradesman who knows how to fight. I would love to meet your parents one day. Tell them they have tell them they have my invitation. Thank you, Your Grace. I will pass on the invitation. They'll surely be happy to visit. My pleasure. I wanted to ask about Sidani. Look at you two. I think I know why Sidani wants to stab people. Is there any chance that you talked her into it? Oh, you heard you've heard about the stabber? Don't look at me, Sidani came up with the name. Sidani really wanted to practice with us, but to talk her out of it, we had to come up with something else she could do. You shouldn't should be- you should be- you should she be- you, Kill me, oh my god. You should be happy she's not running around with a real sword, father. I will head off for now. Just don't come screaming if you cut off- cut your fingers off. Thank you, father, we won't. <laughs> but there's something else here I needed to do. There is. father? Oh, right, right. Lady Lena visited me. Do you remember Lady Lena? She was at your sister's wedding. Yes? Why are you telling me this? Well, she asked me if you would like to marry her son. But before you throw a tantrum, know that I haven't given her the decision yet. Oh. I see. I guess I won't have much to say in this matter anyway. Well, I don't know. What do you think? I don't even know him! Why do you think I would want to marry a stranger? Is there anyone you know you would want to and would want to marry? No? We need to find you someone sooner or later. You know how this works. I know, I just don't think I'm ready for this. No one is ever ready for this, uh, as. I don't know what she what are her and I'm not sure what she's gonna want. <laughs> Lady Lena offered Eric to su Eric support in exchange for Adalia Asalia's hand for her marriage. To no surprise, Asalia hated the offer and asked her father to decline it. Oh, man. That's bad. Your Grace? How was your mission? Did you turn Stabber into a prince yet? No, not yet, Your Grace. He loves his rooster, I think. Although he doesn't really want to ride it. I think I need to make Stabber help me in some, in some way, so I owe him a promise. I know what I can do. Send him on a mission. Just don't do anything silly, pumpkin. Don't and don't hurt yourself. Yes, your grace. Dead ass. What if the rooster transforms into a prince? Dead ass. What if actually that happens? Darling, what do you think about Asalia finding a prince? Lady Lena came to me with a proposition. Asalia? She's still young. I thought we wouldn't have to think about it until after the battle. I know, I wasn't really sure what to tell her. She was offering her support in the battle if we agree. We need as much help as we can get, but I don't want to let Asalia go yet. I'll leave the decision up to you, sweetheart. 
I don't want to give another daughter away. The first marriage went terribly. I don't want to repeat that. She's going to have to get married at some point. I know, this isn't entirely fair, but I don't want her to get married to a stranger. We'll find her someone more appropriate after the battle, I'm sure. That's a relief. It's hard to imagine losing two of my daughters in one year. You're not losing them. They're just getting married. I know, I know. I'll invite Lady Lena and let her know what my decision is. The princess and the cock. The magical cock. Oh, that sucks. I'm inviting her just to decline her. Nokeski and Frederick are still here. I'm going to invite Lurz next time, I hope. King has flying powers. Is he Turkish? Clearly. There's no other explanation. Oh my god! 400 soldiers is 11 food! Holy moly! We have a, a decent surplus of gold. Minus 9, but plus... Um, plus 18. So we, so we gained 9 from last time. Let's actually get the stables now. Week 17. Oh boy. Dear King of Davern, the western woods near Branca are not uninvolved in your troubles. An uncommon object can lead you to the sinner. Be quick. Yours sincerely. The Western Woods near Bronca. This letter has no seal. What do you think of this, Audrey? Whoever sent this letter must have gone to great lengths to pay a scribe to write it. This must be important. We'd better send a general to those woods to see what the matter is. I have marked the location on the map for you, Your Grace. Your Grace? The situation got pretty hot. It wasn't possible to avoid bloodshed. Nonetheless, we have secured Lord Etten, Etten's dust wares. There we go. Ah! Oh. You have called for me, Your Grace? Oh! Take a look at this letter. It has a beautiful drawings of flowers all around it. Do you know anything about it? Flowers? There are lords in my area that decorate their letters sometimes. Do you have your letters decorated too? Sometimes we do, Your Grace. But only very important letters, like wedding invitation. What do you usually decorate letters with? Roses! We always have roses. It's a symbol of love, after all. I have found this You know anything about this? It was in my wine cellar. Oh, yes. I have seen something like this before. It's a charm necklace. It's an expensive thing. The bigger the tooth is, the more dangerous demons it can protect you from. I have a small one as well, you know, just in case. Many soldiers wear these as a sign of their strength, especially if they obtained the tooth themselves by defeating a monster. Only through animations that I truly realize just how round they are. Wide veggie. Da -na 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 -na. Da -na -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. It brings them luck in battle. Where did you get yours from? It was a wedding gift from my father. Thank you, Lady Lena. Now that I asked her all the questions I really wanted to ask her, time to decline the marriage. Have you re reconsidered my offer, Your Grace? I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Do as you wish. Pfft. Good luck on the battlefield, where there won't be anyone to help you. I think we should check in with Lurz, your grace. We have done some tasks for him, so he might be ready for Alliance now. Yes, that is correct. Mercenary, peasant, peasant. All right. Your grace, there is no trace of Lishage in the forests. So I thought. As clever as I am, I know where to look for their lairs in old tree trunks. Here, take this bloody horn as proof of my courageous deed. Uh-huh. Ha! 
You couldn't have defeated the beast. There was no monster in the forest. You fell for our ruse. All your tales are lies, just like this one. What? Be a liar? No way, I brought proof, didn't I, your grace? <laughs> this horn doesn't exactly strike me as anything for coming from a monster. What else, your grace? The shards are just like any other animal. It has horns, it bleeds. Surely you weren't expecting the horn to glow. The dragon tail isn't exactly original, is it? Sir Frederick says you're, you're retel you, you retell the story, just changing a few details each time. Very well. The cat is out of the bag. At least I don't have to put on the show anymore. It can be very tiring at times, if I'm perfectly honest. People want to see this amazing knight, this dragon slayer. So I show them what they want to see. The shage and the proof, a stag. At least my stories don't hurt anyone, and I don't have a and I don't have a drinking problem. If you say if you have something to say, say it to my face. I hear what a wind is I hear what the wind is spreading. Problems with rum? Wife walking around with a black eye? You don't believe him, do you, Your Grace? He's a liar. He's making all this up. You used to be recognized around the courtyards, but the memory is fading. That's it. Draw your sword. Let's just see how much how if you're more than just a trickster. Do nothing. In your current state, I didn't expect much more. You're lucky I don't quite feel like fighting right now. Your grace, of course, it's just a hoax, but it doesn't matter. The message is what's important. The story warms people's hearts. It gives hope for a better tomorrow. People always think they see basilisks, the sh the shens, strigas, while it's usually a fox, stray dog, or a cat eater. If I bring them a boar skin or deer horn and tell them it was the monster, they sleep better at night. They can get back to work, feeling safe. And if I make extra gold on the side, so what? Aren't we all frauds? Kings, for example. People always come to see the king because he knows everything. They expect you to give wise advice. They put the greatest trust in your words. But answer yourself, do you always know what to do? Not even scholars know the way. I guess you're right. Not even scholars always know what they're doing. Correct? There's only so much we can learn from manuscripts. The rest is just guessing. Your grace, we surely can't let him spread more lies. I won't allow this. If you let Noxy, Noxy join your banner, then I won't stand by your side. Oh, I won't join if he joins. With this, in, in, with this intemperance, I won't stand next to him during battle. In all the turmoil, he could stab me and no one would even know. Yovan, a good guy. He trains with me. I will make sure to send my recommendation. Don't forget that. Sir Frederick, you have one more battle ahead of you. I knew I could trust your judgment, your grace. Ha! It's time for those with real experience to take the lead, Noxy. A shame, your grace. Nonetheless, I wish you the very best in your battle. Oh, will someone clean up this mess? Okay. Excellent. So I can get Yovan, but not immediately. First, I'm gonna, in I'm gonna invite Lurz. Lurs, the ruler of the planet Omicron, Percy I-8. Okay. Oh, fucking goddammit. Um, I'm trying to find... Huh. I think Hidden Hut is where we need to send the general. Uh, 
I think that's the thing that we got. Your Grace, I wanted to see you about my missing potatoes. Someone must have stolen them, and I think I know who it was. But they say only one request per visit, and it seems like I have a much bigger problem now. I come from afar, and by the time I arrived, I was very tired. I wanted to get some rest, and I sat on one of the fine chairs in the hall. I know I shouldn't have, put, but the gods have punished me already. I have sat down on some living... I have sat down on some living pincushion, it would seem. It squeaked, and I jumped up right away. When I stood, my bottom was all covered in spikes. And not only that, but I feel very ill, weak even. I fear the, the chair creature has poisoned me. What can I do? The stabber. The stabber? Oh no, it sounds very serious. I'm not sure what I what we can do here. I think I might have something that will help. Name's Elena, your grace. I know about brewing potions. I can help with magical anomalies, diseases, diseases. I dabble in wound healing also. Hey, we have a like a witch agent we could have. A witch? I, some may call me that, although I prefer to see myself as just a well read a well wed well well read woman. At your service. You could definitely use some something like this to help our people, your grace. They would be a great addition to our roster of agents. What's the catch? What do you hope to gain from this? Ah, of course, there's always something people want in return, right? I'm a simple woman. All I need is a roof over my head and something to eat. In return, I'm willing to lend you your kingdom, my aid, and any supernatural problems. I just want to help people. Thank you. Welcome to our castle in that case. It is my honor, your grace. I will also be able to help help during the battle if you need me. Sedani won't be happy about the stabber. I'd better let her know. I'll see if you have any useful books in the council chamber, your grace. You'll be able to see the expenses for the weekly... The witch in the weekly summary, your grace. Okay. So... We can just pay her whenever we need her. That's great! So... Is the stabber just dead? I think the stabber died. Oh, I can talk to the witch from here. Your grace, how can I help? I'll be on my way. May the spirits guide you. So, is Stabber dead? Your Grace, I bring news about your hedgehog. Saidani, your hedgehog passed away. The Stabber? Oh no, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have sent him on the mission. I knew he wasn't ready. Tell me, did he at least complete his mission? At least his final quest? What mission? Saidani, did you send a hedgehog on a mission? Yes, an undercover mission! He was meant to scout the area, retrieve information, and return to me. This way, if he helped me, I would owe him a promise, like in the story, Father. They can hardly follow any instructions. That's why they're good! No one suspects a hedgehog. How else was he supposed to help me? Please don't do this again. Please don't send any more hedgehogs on missions. The last one stabbed a peasant, and I had to deal with it. But I was so close to turning him into a prince. Now Lord Sulia will never come back. Well, I suppose you're right. Forgive me, Your Grace. Nothing is as elegant, as fearless as a... ass dusty. Next time, I will find a fiercer agent. I will train him, and he will be at my command! The stabber's efforts were not in be... We're not in vain. Oh, Sadani, my pumpkin. Okay, can I have the rooster back in my throne room? I guess I can't. I guess the rooster is just here forever now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, they already sent somebody to the hidden hut. Why do you need a rooster when you have Davibon in the shop? 
rubbery. Well, he doesn't caca when there's a liar, but... Good grace! Pendle, our village has been raided! There were men dressed in red and black with a beast's head pierced by the spear on their banners. That's a Rodovian army for certain, Your Grace. This means they are getting close to us. Perhaps they are just teasing us. Teasing? People being killed, manged, and enslaved is just teasing? Your Grace, it didn't look like an entire battalion. It must have just been a small squad. Send your men. We can fight back. You're clearly emotional, but we have to look at the bigger picture here. If we fight them off, they will certainly get angry and fight back with more force. If We don't, we don't want to start the battle early. And tolerating their attacks may encourage them to carry out more. Your Grace, you have to do something about this. We can't just let them trample our lands. Wow. 18... Yeah. If I send supplies your way, at least the rest of you who have survived can move out of the village. Come closer to the castle. These are difficult times. You need to stay out of sight. Don't go outside after dark. And have some someone patrolling the area at all times. That all, Your Grace? We're just told to let do with whatever they want and run away from them? That's nonsense! It's for the best, believe me. Fine, Your Grace. We'll relocate as close to the castle as possible. 18 naked cowboys on Ram Ranch. Your Grace, we hear of the up we hear of the upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for us for you to get some help. We're mercenaries, 22 skilled men at your disposal, only for 16 gold. Oh, that's a lot of money. Ooh. <sighs> What do you say? I'm not gonna have Lena's army from the wet from marrying Asalia off. I'm not gonna have the army from Lady Lena. So like, but it's only tw it's only 22 soldiers. I'm not interested in your offer. Fine, we will be back in two weeks. Maybe you will change your mind by then or get our gold ready. Yeah, let's take a look. Is there anything else we need to do? Oh my god, the witch costs 11. Are you fucking serious? Holy moly. I regret unlock. Uh, no, I should have unlocked the stables. That's totally acceptable. Holy moly. I'm now, I am now having a deficit. 15, 17. Um, 15, 17, 18, 22. So minus 20. Okay, I technically, okay, no, I, t I gained only two. Minus seven troops? Hell fucking no. Actually, wait a minute. I would have a net gain of three soldiers. Ah, no, I don't care. Lurs, I need you. You have called for me, Your Grace? This secret message... Oh, wait, first of all, I have found a letter. This letter is on very decorative parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? Decorations. Hmm. Maybe it's more like a page from a book. Are you sure it's a letter? Yes, I'm sure it's a letter. I can't help in that case. I, I know of no lords who illustrate their letters. This secret message is for you. I found this message. Ah, perfect. Dust sale is in Pasky. Good job, you've stopped Etten's trading stand. It'll be much harder for him to sell dust now. Thank you, Your Grace. Etten's dust dealer. Well done, you've imprisoned Etten's dust dealers. I'm sure this will discourage others from selling. Something suspicious. Thank you for keeping me informed about the shady business. This way I can keep an eye on Etten dealers. I have done as you asked. Wonderful. We have stopped the growth of Etten's business. Oracle Dust will still be about, but it definitely helped reduce its spread. Unfortunately, there's still a there's a small problem in the way. 
With that not buying my spices, others have turned their backs on me as well. I can hardly make a coin now. That's why I had to start trading with Rodovians. Oh. Are you mad? That's supporting our enemy! We're going to war with them! I suppose so, but they're helping us too. I'm not sure it's an easy decision for them either. Your Grace, the bottom line is I need gold, otherwise I won't be able to sustain my armies. The only other option I see is if you bought the spices from me. I will need monthly installments though. I need to keep my business running or else I must wrap it all up. If you don't like any of these options, then I suppose we need to part ways. Three gold a week? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I'll be losing gold a week. But can I can I resell the spices? Like, what did the spices did the spices do anything for us? Oh my god. <laughs> I literally will be losing gold unless I disable the witch once in a while. Is really bad. Really, really bad. I can't have gone this far to not get any army out of him, dude. Like. Fine, keep selling Rodobians your goods. As long as they keep paying, then I'm game. Great. You will see your grace. It won't change a thing. Okay, so. 200, but they also get spices, as you wish, Your Grace. Okay, we have a big-ass army now. This alliance give, gives us many benefits, Your Grace. We should expect an increase to our income at the end of the week. Very good. You make an alliance, the ally's name will turn green, but when you upset some lords, their name will appear in red. This usually means you can't ally with them anymore. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, invite. Oh, he's currently away? Why is he currently away? God damn it. Well, Ada is already our ally. Sir Frederick is already an ally. Uh, the elite. The elite. Invite her. Your grace, the wooden hut in the forest appeared to be some sort of kitchen for preparing spices. It was abandoned. We searched the palace and found this file hidden under the flooring. Find anything else? No, Your Grace. The place was empty, apart from lots of dried rosemary. Thank you. A substance inside. This is what poison talus. I'd better leave it be. An old lady in the nearby forest needed help with wolves that keep stealing her chickens. I have quickly dealt with them, Your Grace. He gave me some supplies in return. Okay, all right. Wow, 16. Holy moly. I have heard that Lena has made you a proposition. I must say, it's good that you haven't agreed to it, Your Grace. But do not make the mistake. Do not accept her offer. This marriage cannot happen. It seems to me that you don't know of the curse that plagues Lena's family. Curse? What curse? They say that if her son does not participate in the act of marriage before his 20th spring, he will fall asleep and never wake up. Is there a way to lift the spell? There is! That's why Lena so desperately... That's why Lena so desperately looking for someone to marry her son to lift the bane. The problem is, you can't completely get rid of it. If her son gets married, it is said that the spell will move on to the bride and she will die the following night. Are you willing to risk this? Thank you for the information. I mean, I already I already said no to, to Lena. You're most welcome. I would strongly reconsider Salia's marriage arrange, arrangement, though. I will consider your advice, be sure. I have already declined. I've already declined. I've already declined. It does not matter. Darling? I have a lead on the investigation. A 
file. Letter arrived, so this thing something suspicious happening near Bronca. I've a general I've had a general explore the location and he found this file. The substance inside could be what poisoned Talus. Its ingredients could lead us to the killer. Perhaps we take the file to a court witch and see what she could tell us about it. That's a good idea. I think I've seen her in the council chamber. We how you doing, Drackle? We don't have a humongous amount of time left, but still a decent amount of time. Your Grace, how can I help? I have got this file. We found this thing. It could be connected to Talus somehow. There appears to be a residue inside. Can you check if this residue matches the poison from Talus's wine? It might be difficult, but I'll try to determine the ingredients used in both samples. This will, It will take some time, though. Take as much time as you need. Let me just get a smear of this. Come and see me in the throne room when you find anything out. Of course, Your Grace. I will be on my way. May the spirits guide you. Came, I came to bother. Came to bother, but, ha but half expecting World of Horror. <laughs> Your Grace. World of Horror will come back um, on, like, chill random chill stream days. But for now, we're on to a, a main game. And this one's really cool, you know. It's, it's a Civ manager that's about the that's about the story of the king. I think that's cool. Your Grace! We we don't know how this happened. The creature, the the witch from the forest! She escaped, Your Grace! She opened her doors! Idiot! Some fool was brave enough to seek the eternal wisdom. We all know the eternal wisdom is just a hoax. We knew she's nothing but an old hag. But told but some young boy, he fell for the tale. And now Babushka is out in the woods. Babushka? Your Grace, you don't know Babushka? She's, well, a witch, an old hag, older than anyone knows. She has been around forever. She is short and crooked. Her bony legs barely support layers of her old wrinkly skin. She has long hooked nose. Her nostrils' ha hairs are so long they hang down to her breasts. What the fuck? She wears a snakeskin coat and a scarf around her neck with tiny bones attached carefully to each strand. As she walks, the bones clatter against each one another. Clickety dee clock, clickety dee clock. She lives in the woods, although no one has seen her for many years. The legend has it that she used to lure children into the forest to eat them. But some legends also say she gives eternal wisdom to whom is brave enough to look her in the eyes. What can I do about this? I'm not sure, Your Grace. In the village, you transcribe these words on our doors. Turn your back to the forest, your front to me. She also leaves old chicken legs on our doorsteps. We're afraid she's going to come for our children. Every night something hears someone hears the clicking. She might be preparing a spell of some kind. I don't have gold. I don't have gold for this. I think someone is trying to fool you. Stick it out, they'll stop eventually. Your Grace, it's no joke! Everyone is terrified! I don't know where else to look for help. I'm sorry. Wow, minus three? That's ridiculous. Your Grace, more and more people gather to pray. We can't fit everyone in a barn no more. We wanted to build a new shrine, but we need some help inviting Holy Spirit to the place. We will, we will be in favor of the gods. The fields will be more fertile, the monsters will be kept at bay, and the evil spirits will avoid our village. You can, if you can, aid us with the court witch and some gold to pay for the materials. People will be forever grateful. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so... I'm gonna lose so much money. But I can't send the witch. The witch is doing the murder investigation. Okay, I'm going to do something that's going to royally screw me over. Our people's faith is important to us. Here's the gold you need. Make it the biggest shrine in Daver. This is very generous, Your Grace. You are a good man. The gods will reward you someday. Already sent the pigeon as well. I'm going to go 
a look at the evidence table, actually. Lady Lena mentioned that dragon's teeth are worn by soldiers to help them in battle. Okay. I suppose the lord that we're about to have come by will give us a good idea. I guess. Elena, the witch, she is away, so I do not have to pay her, so I actually got a bunch of money. Oh, fuck! Prepare witch? Oh, fuck yes! Hell yes! We absolutely need the witch during the battle. Holy fuck. <laughs> Revno, week 19! Your grace, a local baker was missing his flour deliveries. I searched around and it turned out the horses and cart got stuck in the mud on the way over. We helped them and the baker gave us the ba a basket of fresh crusty uh, bread rolls. Nine food! Holy moly! There's Jovan. The elite. Your guess? I hear y'all fight the beast faced. We're preparing for the battle with Rodovia. You heard well. The name's Via Vialit. Uh, my elders have fought with the beasts many years before me. I heard they brought some Radovian dog gear to your castle. They say you keep him in the dungeon. I want to help you with those nasty beasts. I'll give men and resources. Three gold and 150 army. In exchange for the red dog. No dog, no army. I cannot make any, it any simpler. Why do you need... Why do you... Why... <laughs> why do you need him? Ahem. <coughs> Ahem. <coughs> Him. I'll teach him a lesson is all. I reckon we should make an example out of him. Show his dog brothers what happens to those who step a little too far. That will keep him at bay. Do as you please, but you can spare me the details. Fantastic. I'll take it slow, make sure he knows I'm there. Oh! One more thing, your guess. My deal is off the table if you ever help any of these dogs. Make no mistake about that, your grace. If I help any of the Rodovians? Why would I help any of the Rodovians? In what universe would I help Rodovian? Like, I don't think that Lurs selling his spices to the Rodovians constitutes me helping the Rodovians. I found this in my wine cellar. Can you tell me anything about it? Woo! That's a bit of a tooth. Tis beautiful is all I can tell ya, your grace. I'm sorry I'm not much help. I found a letter. The letter was on very finely decorated parchment. Do you know where it could have come from? Let me think. Tis not from my lands, your grace. It ain't signed? That's strange. Strange and rude. I found a file. I have found this near Branca. Can you tell me anything about it? I ain't ever been to Branca. It looks pretty nasty, though. That'll be all for now. Aye, your grace. Your grace, Sir Frederick is dead? What? Lord Jovan is responsible for ending his life. What? I don't regret this decision. Not one bit. 
Why? What made you stoop to this? He had it coming. Frederick was an abusive scumbag. Lona, his wife, has endured a lot. Proving Noxie's a liar strengthened Frederick's ego. Happy that he put uh, Noxie in his place, he started celebrating. Drank to his heart's content. He felt invincible, wanted to show Lana, his wife, that he was a real man. My God. Jesus Christ Almighty. I thought you respected Sir Frederick. You didn't want to join my banner unless he did. He trained me. Sometimes he would be completely drunk, and I saw what he was like to Lana. A veteran, now a faded star, but once a real legend. I couldn't bear to watch him abuse her, but he was of a higher rank. I wanted him to join you first, as I didn't want to do anything that would upset him. I didn't want Lana to suffer for my decision in case he didn't agree with it. I didn't realize that something else would set him off anyway. He always got abusive when he drank. Everyone knew about that. The guards, peasants, noble knights, right? Frederick would beat Lana up and wouldn't let her out. No one lifted a finger to help. Everyone was too scared to do anything. I couldn't watch. Go ahead, kill me if you must, but you know, Frederick deserved this. If you spare me, I will join your armies. I will aid you with my main force of 120 men. I will also offer my pikemen to join your battle. They can deal with any cavalry the Rodovians may come with. I will also give you five gold. <sighs> it's a sad day for the knighthood, but I understand why you did this, Jovan. Your deeds are forgiven, and you shall serve Davern in the upcoming battle. I suggest you stay out of sight for a while, just in case. Thank you, Your Grace. My God! Jesus Christ! Your Grish? Stefan, is that you? You look great. What happened? You gave me hope, Your Grish. I was in a very bad place before. I had given up on life. But after you gave me the gold, I realized I could make something of myself. I haven't, I haven't entirely stopped drinking yet. But I drink a lot less. I have found a new path in life. I have been helping the less fortunate in our town. People like me, all they need is another shot at life. It makes me feel like I have a purpose in this world. I just wanted to visit to say thank you, Your Grish. I owe my life to you. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing, giving you so much gold, but now I can see that I did. I couldn't be happier for you, Stefan. I am very glad to hear you are helping others, too. You are a good man. Does he need to find his dead grandma? <laughs> Oh, I hope not. You've inspired me to be a good person, Your Grish. I'll never forget this. Here's a little something I've gathered by selling my fish on the market. I know it's not much, but I want to show how grateful I am for the help. This is very much appreciated. This will help other folk in times of need. You're welcome. Farewell, farewell Your Grace. Or food. Very nice. Holy ma Holy moly. Holy moly guacamole. Peasant. Your Grace, I'm a sorcerer from the market. Your petitioners often visit me if you refuse to help them. I aid, in ma I, I, I aid as many people as I can for very little in return. It's often not enough to cover all the ingredients I need for potions. As it stands, I'm out of most of my ingredients at the moment. And the cue to my place isn't any shorter than yours. Would you please be able to help out with some extra gold? Eighteen is fucking crazy. That is fucking crazy, dude. I really appreciate you helping our people, but we don't have enough resources to help you. No wonder there are so many sick people in Tavern if the king does not prioritize health care. Your queue isn't even half as big as mine. Humph. Yeah, well, you might be a fucking liar. Like, there's a fucking war about to come at me. Ahem. To you I come, a truly humble kind. I hope I find you well, in good shape and mind. 
Your Grace, this is Torlando, a writer known across many halls and taverns. Excuse me, not just Torlando. I am, ahem, Torlando the Wonderful, writer and poet recognized in all kingdoms experiencing the artistic renaissance. The popularity of whom is discussed even in kingdoms of stagnant growth, including Yeles, Kalidur, Baravia, and Rodovia, of which I will remain silent for the known reasons. Very well, what can I do for you? Your grace, if I may, I am working on my latest release, but I have no clue how to finish this piece. It's a story about royal intrigues, oaths of the past, foolish peasants, and passionate lust. I honor you with my latest work. I am open to art of all kinds. The poem is, for now, entitled Palnoka Ekem. The moon shines so bright, high up in the sky. Upala night is upon us. Laughter and music can be heard outside, but the weary night may not rest. Inside the castle, there's no frivolous joy. The fatal matter must be solved. The night is short this time of year, so let's make the best of it while we can. Fire, pleasure, and delight will rule this night. This is fantastic! Bravo! Thank you, Your Grace. Although I am not surprised that you find this so delightful. The problem is, I... I cannot continue. Ahem. I have hit a wall, and I cannot write at all. I am desperate for some true inspiration. I strongly believe that seeing your general patrolling would just get my creative juices rolling. Therefore, I beg of you, please allow your general to join me to get out of this squeeze. You you know I you know I'm about to go to a fucking war, right? Like you 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 understand that, right? Yeah, come back in the time after Rodovia has fucking attacked. I wish I could help. Perhaps return another time and I will keep you a general available to assist you. I can see the desire in your eye to hear more of my wonderful poetry. I shall be back within two weeks. Your general be better be ready by then. Your Grace, part of our village is flooded! Luckily, no one got hurt, but our homes were devastated. We could use some gold to buy resources to rebuild our houses. I have been aff we have been affected by the floods recently, too. Here's 12 gold. I believe you should... I believe that should be enough to... Gold to I believe that should be enough for you to acquire the, re the required resources. That is magnificent of you, Your Grace. Thank you. My goodness, very, very sleepy day, huh? Go to the farthest regions. And I have a pigeon. When a person you know dies, a skull icon will appear next to their profile. This means you can't interact with this lord anymore. <laughs> Yeah, no fucking kidding. No fucking kidding. You know, my army isn't the worst. I guess we have Masha and Grego. Let's invite Masha. I fell asleep at like 3 a.m. and was like half asleep. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I hate that shit. Wow, there's nobody to talk to. Okay, well. I suppose it's time. We have so many goddamn soldiers. We have so many goddamn... We almost have a thousand, I'm just realizing. Holy moly. No, I need the witch. I want the witch. I need the witch. Time until Rodovia comes 10 weeks. Wow. Not gonna lie, I think we're doing pretty well. 10 weeks until Rodovia comes? Maybe I'm playing the game very, very well for some reason. Grevno, week 20. Dear Father, tell Sadani Dusty is fine. He was meowing for the first two days of the journey without stopping, so his voice was gone. He gave up after that and just slept the rest of the way. Unfortunately, 
King Ivo is allergic to cats, so we keep him outside our chambers. Not to worry, though. I made a little house for him, so he's co he has a cozy place all for himself. I miss you so much. Perhaps you could visit me one day? Poor Dusty. He always loved to cuddle in bed with Rosulia. But Ani doesn't need to know about this. You should ask Rosulia about something else. Ask her about Ivo. What is he like as a husband? How is he dealing with his father's death? And say that I wish to give him my condolences. Mention that we are working on finding the murderer. Very well, Your Grace. I will write her a letter. We should anticipate a reply within a couple weeks. Your Grace, a small family living on the edge of the village has recently lost their child to a fever. Little could be done, but I helped them bury the poor mite. We prayed for his soul, and I blessed the spirit on your behalf. The parents were grateful for help from the king's men. All right, well... Your Grace, I have found a match from the substance in this file to the poison used on Talus. So it's quite certain that this file was used to poison Talus. But what would it be doing near Bronca? I don't know, Your Grace. Thank you for this. I'll be use it'll be useful in our investigation. Good grief. This will be the last week before we're going to be uh, done for today. Yo, Johans, that buffoon with the stupid red gloves. Lend me some gold and I will pay you back in a week, he said. I will break his legs if I see him. Your Grace, I lent this fellow 28 gold. He said he would pay me back with interest. I know the type. Oh, wait, he said, I think she said Jonas, not Jovan. Not, no, no, I was thinking that this was a different dude, but... Now I hear he's off to Calidur, the other end of the world, probably enjoying hot sunshine and Caladice brothels. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here in this rat hole with no wages to pay my men. I've got until this evening to pay them, otherwise they'll leave. Where the hell can I find a new crew, then? I don't have money. I need this money for only two weeks. I should be able to help... Be able to make it up to you after that. So you want gold. I literally do not have... I don't think I can help. Besides, if I lent you money, I'll probably end up the same way you have. I hope you find this fellow. In that case, I'm sorry to bother you, Your Grace. I guess not everyone was as naive as I was. Gods, Jonas makes me makes a real fool out of me. Made a real fool out of me. She said Wiener. Imagine if you could talk to them in hell. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. Your Grace, where I come from, there's an old fog surrounding the nearby forest. Odd fog. Anyone who goes in the fog disappears without any trace. A few local adventurers came forward. They said that they would find the one responsible, but they never came back. We're thinking the fog turns people into frogs, bugs maybe. There's plenty of them in the forest, but no signs of the people who go in there. I think it's task for the witch. Perhaps the fog has some magical origin. It would be best to send a witch to check on it. Perhaps she can handle the situation. Of course, fight magic with magic. You've got a smart head on your shoulders. No wonder you're the king. Your great, oh, your grace, my boy, my dearest grandchild, got himself into big, big trouble, your grace. He asked me not to come here, but I, I don't know where else to go. He's been involved with the Oracle Dust sales for a long time now. It's harmless, he told me. Only selling to begin with, but he recently started using it as well. He was over the moon, so happy and giggly at first. He even tried convincing me to use it to relax, but I'm no lady to get involved in this nasty business. Now he's very ill, your grace. I can't leave the, be the bed, my poor baby. He keeps asking to bring, uh, to bring him some more dust, but I know this is the cause for his illness for sure. He tells me it'll make him feel better. I have no heart to look at him in his state, barely moving, with skin as blue, blue as blueberries. Please help, your grace. No! Fuck! I can't help your grandson. He needs to stay strong until his illness passes. Make sure he stays hydrated and don't let him take any more of the dust. He'll come out of it. I really hope he does, your grace. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's dead. 
He's dead. He's fucking dead. I can't do anything. I don't have money. Your Grace, a rooster has been running around our kitchen for days, but we finally managed to catch him. It was a beautiful bird. We couldn't keep him as he... We already had a rooster, but it made a delicious broth. Our staff liked it so much, I thought I'd bring you some for you to try. I'm not sure what this chick... Where this chick came from, but it was surely well fed. Oh, no. Sedani is going to kill me. Why couldn't you ask me first? This was my daughter's pet. Oh, your grace, I didn't know. My apologies. So here's the thing. From a player perspective, I, I want to say it's fine and just get it over with. From a character perspective, I think Eric would get emotionally distraught here and have an outburst. Because, like, I paid a lot of money for that thing, and I gave it to my daughter, and she already lost one of her other pets. Like, I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, I think Eric would just be really pissed at this. You idiot! Get out of my sight! And I'd better not see you ever again! Your grace, I didn't know! I'm very sorry, you won't see me again. I had better check on Sedani. Your grace? Rosalia sent a letter. I asked her about Dusty, just like you told me to. What did she say? Is Dusty alright? Does he like the new castle? I bet he'd prefer it here. He is completely fine, Sidani. He didn't like the journey so much, but he is in a cozy castle now, probably laying by some warm fireplace. No! Father! He is an explorer. He probably runs around all the castle walls, like he did here. Of course, Sidani. I had to let the rooster go, Sidani. I let the rooster free. I'm sorry. He really wanted to get outside these castle walls. He's going to be happier if he's free. Thank you, Your Grace. I wanted to do this myself. He wasn't suited to be an agent. All he did was poop everywhere. I'm glad you said it free, Father. I'm glad too. Please be careful with these animals, Pumpkin. I am, Your Grace. So, the person who used the poison vial was a soldier, or at the very least, they used this dragon's tooth as a good luck charm for the, for the investigation. I need to seek an expert or question subjects on this. Still haven't, either way. The witch tested the substance she confirmed? Yeah, so... The vial was indeed used. File was, uh, so somebody brewed the potion in that one place. Actually, what am I doing? I should just, oh, wait, no, no, wait. Uh, I want to call for Masha again to, to question her about the letter. But we'll, we'll call for Grego. We have plenty of time. Why do they have to call their dad your grace? Well, they seem to interchange. Um, so it's not a big deal, I, I guess. Man, our army is so big, dude. Your grease. Your Grace, I have found an old wagon blocking the road. It looked abandoned. I gathered the men and we moved it out of the way. Turned out the wagon was full of golden supplies. Kick ass! Kick ass! Your Grace, it is I. Toll on to the wonderful. 
I will send a general to aid you in your quest. That is absolutely fantastic. You will not be disappointed, for I shall bring you a classic. You have sent a pigeon for me? I have. Welcome to our castle. I presume you've heard about our upcoming battle with Rodovia? I have, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I want to help. So here's my deal. I pride myself in my knowledge of art. My collection of paintings is the biggest in the kingdom. So the one guy I needed to ask about this fucking letter is literally the last guy I fucking sent a pigeon for. I own paintings by the most prestigious artists. Sylvik von Geh, Manowski, Pisak, you get the idea. I've heard recently that you hold a very valuable painting. It would be perfect for my collection. The Stork by Sylvik von Geh. I, um, don't say anything yet. You haven't heard the rest of my deal. I can offer you 80 well-trained men and three supplies. Wow, that painting must mean a lot to you. Of course it does. It needs to vanish from this castle. I mean, it'll look better in my gallery alongside the others. Imagine the painting is hanging somewhere, so I'll give you time to take it down. That is, of course, if you agree to my deal. I would like to pick it up personally, so invite me whenever you are ready. The stork is the symbol of... My, I do need... I need as many soldiers as physically possible. So, like... <laughs> I might as well you know get on the get on it right with this right I will get the painting ready as soon as I'm done with my duties fabulous I cannot wait I'll be waiting for the pigeon I have the okay I'll ask the other ones for it. I have found this in my wine cellar can you tell me anything about it you have beasts in your dungeons Eric you had better find a hunter to deal with this okay so I have to I have to literally hire a hunter okay I have found this file I found this near Bronca. Can you tell me anything about it? It's a used glass file. I'm not sure what more I could tell you, your grace. Take a look at the drawings in this letter, Grego. Could you tell me about more about them? These plants look like rowan trees. These trees grant protection from evil witches and their curses. Many kingdoms use these to build children's cradles. So a lord who wants protection against witches and curses probably wrote this letter. Thank you, Grego. This is very useful information. That's all. Thank you for visiting. Goodbye, Your Grace. Is this another pet of yours you've got there, Pumpkin? What is it this time? A lizard would be interesting. Hmm, too difficult to take care of. But this, it's just some silly toy. Recruiting agents is far more difficult than you would imagine. Why the agents? What are you planning to use them for, Pumpkin? It's to save Lursulia and Dusty from the evil prince. When my agents are ready, we will take Lursulia back home. My agents will be best friends with Dusty. Maybe I will let you use one of them day use them one day too, if you're good. Pumpkin, Ivo is not evil. Besides, he's no prince, he's a king now. Atana is really far away, too. Well, those seem like good points, but you do your job, I do mine. Let's see that toy. Quite unusual, isn't it? Doesn't look like it came from our country. Where did you get it from? Maya gave it to me. It brings luck, she says. I see. Go on for now, Sadani. See if you can find more agents. What if Maya is a spy of some sort for s working for somebody? Mm. Yes, Father, Your Grace. I need to see that friend of Asalia. Your Grace, normally I wouldn't bother you, but I have no other choice. I'm a merchant delivering goods from one place to the other. I sell trinkets of all sorts. What wares do you have? Um, paintings, vintage scrolls, historic relics. And even once, I even once had the wooden leg of Vlode in the spindle shanks. Yeah. He went for a crazy 200 pieces of gold. But none of that matters now, as I was robbed on the way back to my hometown, Pro Provesk. And if I am not mistaken... Now you need funds to carry on with your journey. Correct. You really know your stuff, your grace? Your, gra your grace? I would only need 23 gold to get back on my feet. I'm a businessman, so I know how to invest this money. I'll make a profit in no time. I will repay you as soon as I can, with interest. 
We do have a lot of wheat. We honestly, we have a lot of weeks left. We have like eight weeks, so repaying me with interest sounds like a good. I will lend you the money, but if but you had better not. But you had better not be back with. I will lend you the money, but you had better be back with more. If not, I will send for you. Yes, that's wonderful. I had no problem at all. I'll be back here in no time, Good Grace. 23 gold, and that's all for me. Easy. This guy is gonna fucking uh, cheat me out of my. F he probably just cheated me, but. So. Excellent. Yes, father? Sedani's toy. Explain this, Asalia. It's a toy? Yes, Sedani got this toy. Sedani got this toy from Maya. I've seen this toy before. Maya, you are not from Baravia, are you? My family, we travel a lot. I was passing by, but I heard all the racket here. Is everything all right, darling? Look at this toy, Aurelia. I recognize this. Of course you do. We saw one just like it was when we were robbed by Bayron 13 years ago. Where did you get this toy from, Maya? I, I... My parents travel a lot. We are traveling merchants. They must have bought it somewhere. Your accent, this toy, staying in Davern for a while. You're from Rodovia. Tell me you didn't know about this, Asalia. Father, please, no! Don't do anything to her. It's my fault. I asked her to visit us. We are preparing for battle. We're planning to repel and attack. But Rodovians are already in my castle. I... I... Oh, fuck. Look at what you did to your father. Eric! Shit. Man, I faint a lot. Eric, that's twice now. Ah, uh, Hasalia's friend from Rodovia. Preparing for war against them, and yet they're already here. Yes, I had a chat with them already. Hasalia won't be seeing her friend anymore. I decided not to kill her, but I banished her from the castle. She's just a girl. Perhaps, but what kind of message does it send? Our daughter playing with the enemy in our castle. You didn't consider letting her stay, did you? I am a nice guy. As I said, Maya's just a girl. Perhaps she's not even aware of the war. What if she's a spy? How else would they know Lorsulia married Ivo? Ah, it doesn't matter anymore, does it? She's gone. Hmm? You collapsing? The two of us not being able to conceive an heir? Break your promise and you two shall be punished. Your kingdom will be fertile, but you won't see a, succe see a successor amongst your offspring. Isn't that how it went? When I promised my firstborn daughter to Bayron, I didn't do it because I was afraid of a witch. I did it to protect us. At the time, I thought Bayron was a fool for agreeing to this. Surely a bandit wouldn't be able to travel such a distance, enter the throne room, and dare to ask a king for his daughter. And yet here we are. I'm telling you, it's the witch. How else could he become a king? How else could he? Did they threaten a war? How else? How else that you couldn't have a son? You might be right. I will look into the curse, darling. I will see if we can do it right away. At least I can help take some of the burden from your shoulders. Thank you. I feel better now. It's time to get up. I guess I'd better see Asalia. Grey Mountains. They seem big again. There's no way it's in the dungeon. No way it's in here. Game almost crashed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it's the stork painting in our bedroom. Ah, 
I got it. I need to invite Grego to give him that painting. I didn't realize this day was gonna last 20 minutes. Yes, Father? About Maya. I'm sorry, Father, I didn't want to hurt you. I'm fine, just not that young anymore. Doctors say tense situations can have this kind of effect. I didn't want to upset you, Father. But why the war, Father? Isn't life difficult enough as it is? Why make things harder for one another? I know that Maya is from Rodovia. When she told me my heart froze up, I knew it meant trouble, but I got to know her. They're not bad, they're just like us, not barbarians, as Mother likes to call them. They attacked our villages. Of course there are bandits, thieves. Bandits, thieves. It doesn't mean they're all like this. You're a king, father. Tell me, did you never have to punish a thief or a bandit who was from Daver? Well, just because one person did bad things doesn't mean we're all bad. I don't understand why we have to fight. They threaten us. They want to take over our castle. What if you just got it all wrong? We can't risk it, Asalia. It's very complicated. That's a great shame, father. Who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I know I don't need to sit here in order to do any of this, but... And I still don't have the money to pay Masha. <laughs> Uh, that sucks. Fucking blows. I'll call for her next week. Oh my goodness. Now I have the money. Eight weeks. That, my friends, will be it for tonight. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. Really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in two days. Friday, if you live in the United States. Uh, gonna go back at it with this game. It's gonna be this game basically all week. Uh, we're probably just gonna go, go nothing but this game until we get to the end. And then if we wanna... Then maybe if we like it a lot, we'll play it over again, potentially. But at the very least, we're gonna do full playthrough of this and uh, before we make a decision about anything else. I hope that uh, you're enjoying it, and that it's not, uh, boring as hell. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, uh, I went overtime so horrifically late. Um, if you haven't been new here, and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for, uh, approximately two hours. And I have lost track of the plot. <laughs> Uh, oh, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I've ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. Oh. Exciting story. I was kind of expecting it to be more replay-heavy. Like, replayability. I mean, it might have replayability. I just, I just don't know. Like, there's different people to get the allyship of and all that. But okay. So, I need, I need to get the fuck out of here. So, thank you all very much for joining me here. I appreciate uh, your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again very soon. With more Yes, Your Grace. Ciao!